In this video, I introduce a model XNet model model motion prediction. A internet net uses a light sensor data and a map as an input to predict the surrounding vehicles, including the center coordinate dimensions and the heading angle. A internet net also predicts the single trajectory for each detected vehicle. Multi-XNet, by adding a lightweight convolutional neural network to the intent net, and use the detected vehicle information, such as vehicle center and heading, as the input, the second stage predicts the multi-mode trajectories with the position and certainty for each detected uh, vehicle. Suppose uh, we have a detected vehicle, it has uh, four possible trajectories, one in this direction, one in that direction. The shadow area indicates the position and certainty. Internet is uh, used as the first stage in multi-XNet model. It has two inputs, one is from a light point cloud. We, uh, part, we partition the light, cloud, uh, light point cloud into voxels to get a 3D broad eye view tender. Suppose we have a T uh, path light scans, then uh, we can uh, concatenate them together in a depth direction to form a sequence of uh, uh, broad eye views. Suppose we have a high definition map M, indicate the driving path is uh, cross walking, land, uh, road, boundaries, intersections, driveways, and uh, parking lot. We use uh, each map just to uh, indicate uh, one uh, single feature. So we have a total for seven features, we have a seven static maps. We put seven static maps together to get a map input. So the internet uses two inputs to generate two outputs. One is the surrounding vehicles, including the uh, location, dimensions, and the heading angle, and the single trajectory for each detected vehicle. Here we just uh, discuss this, discuss this uh, single trajectory because uh, modern XNet uses uh, his uh, second stage to refine the uh, multi-mode trajectories for each detected vehicle. To learn trajectory and the position and certainty jointly in the second stage, a position and certainty is uh, uh, decomposed in a long track and the cross track directions. Suppose a long track and the cross track arrows are independent and uh, Laplace distribution. So a uh, Kubek labor uh, divergence between the ground truth and uh, the prediction is defined as a loss function. This uh, uh, the KB along track. Uh, we have the same formula for the cross track. And we use uh, a cross in Chobby loss to predict the probabilities for each trajectories. So uh, each detected uh, vehicle uh, together with the local feature map, and we uh, rotate in the desired orientation, and then uh, give the second stage as the input. And then uh, we use the full loss function in the first stage and the full function, loss function in the second stage. And we uh, train the multi-x model in the end-to-end -end fashion. Multi-x net predicts the fixed number uh, for trajectories for each detected vehicle. For example, uh, we have a three uh, modes uh, one is the left turn, right turn, and the go straight for each detected vehicle. For a given detected vehicle, multi-axonet predicts three trajectories and uh, their corresponding probabilities. 
So the multi-mode trajectory loss in the second stage consists of uh, trajectory loss and uh, a cross entropy loss. So we uh, train the multi-axonet in a phase in end-to-end -end fashion using a gradient descent method through back propagation. And the outputs are surrounding vehicles generated by the first stage and their multi-model trajectories with the position and uncertainty generated by the second stage. So we say uh, multi uh, axonet is an uh, end to end model because uh, it uh, uh, maps the light sensor data directly to the multi uh, multi mode trajectories with the position uncertainty for each detected uh, vehicle. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you. Bye.